Hey guys, welcome back to Twilight Princess. We're in the Temple of Time. Returning from the Temple of Time. Lots of good chanting. But yeah, I just want to real quick apologize for like the last three episodes being all ranty and angry. And kind of not focusing on the game and talking about... Like, I know sometimes some of you like that, but others are coming for the game. And, yeah. Oh, this is the Poe one. But yeah, we're using the Dominion Rod. There's some stuff we can grab in here. Like this little bugger. I said, come down from there at once. Yeah. But there is a heart piece over on this side. Yeah, I'm feeling better though now. Took a little break and I've been talking to people, friends and things, and it's kind of helped cheer me up a bit. And I just got a piece of heart. And now, sadly, all there is to do, except for the heart piece in the dungeon that I skipped, we're done here. So let's take one last look. It's so sad. I hate goodbyes. But we gotta do it. We got a game to finish. There's things to do. This is actually the Hidden Village episode. That's what's next. I can't wait. Everybody loves it. And rightfully so. Oh, what are you doing here? Well done, adventurer. Uku sees what she was looking for. Goodness, yes, it's the Dominion Rod. But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see its magic has crapped out. Yeah. What am I to do? The spell that would once again bestow it with magic. That's a hint. The statues. Yeah, we've seen them. Uku is... Stop talking in the third person. Ah, oh, I hate that lady. I don't know why <laughs> so much. Hey, wait, what did you do to the Dominion Rod? She's gone. I suppose a useless rod is really just more baggage, but what are you going to do? Hmm, did she just say something about returning to the sky? The last piece of the mirror is also said to be in the heavens. If we can restore magic to the Dominion Rod, maybe it'll come in handy. Hmm. I need another sentence, game. What am I supposed to do right now? Let us warp. We need to go to home base. It's not even really our original home, but everybody's in Kakariko. Because it's the Zelda town. I like the rendition of the Kakariko music in this game, too. It's fitting for the design of it. Composers know what they're doing. But yeah, I guess we should check in with Telma's bar, but really you're supposed to come here first, I think. I think if you go to Telma right now, it's not ready for the next part. You gotta come here. I could be wrong. Yeah, what's everybody here all about? Ah, oh, I've been waiting for you, Link. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend Shad? Well, it seems he is researching the heavens, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And as I have learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the Rod of the Heavens, or something like that. The Goron Elder believes that to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Please, take this to Telma. Alright, a little love letter from Chief Sitting Bowl. It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. What happened? We have a fighting chance, Link! What do you have to say? Link! I remember being saved from a dangerous situation by someone, someone who told me all about the Rod of the Heavens. But now I can't remember the who, why, where, or what it all means. Do you really think I'll recover my memory? I regret that a complete stranger like yourself got caught up in all of this because of me. I'm so sorry. Girl, if you only knew the lengths I was going to to win your heart back. We gotta open her eyes. Let's go see Telma. Oh, my big boobed beauty. I got a love letter from your old man. Oh, well, if it isn't from Renato the Shaman. All this writing and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. Honey, that is what I call rude. 
Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man, and at least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Hmm, what else do I know? The first one to bring Ilya to this shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. <laughs> I've got it. Honey, you go ahead and take this paper to him. This magic little paper will get that codger talking. You got the invoice. This invoice is a, the, for the town doctor's running tab, which is an astronomical sum. Oh, that guy's getting free drinks? It sure would be nice if she started remembering things soon, eh, Link? Oh, yes. Luis is listening to it all, too. That cat. Nothing slips by her. Let's go see Dr. Wiley. And make him pay for all those... Uh, what would Dr. Wiley drink? He'd probably make up his own thing. Where is Dr. Wiley's house? When we find that Milio, we find Dr. Wowie. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help but throw that one in there. And let's cash in our 20 pose or let him know. I think this revives the cat that was stuck on his head, Gangle. And we get the final bottle for doing this. All right, Giovanni, what do you gotta say? Ooh, sparkle. You did it! I can move again! This is all thanks to you, right? Oh, I have to thank you. Will this do? You got great fairies' tears. This sacred water contains the great fairies' prayers, but... It... Oh, all hearts and briefly boost attack strength. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, I can hear you can get this stuff on the cave at the eastern edge of the Gerudo Desert, too. But my body is still golden. And duct tape is silver. That's strange. Maybe we need this old 60 ghost. Can I ask another favor of you, doggy? Can you defeat 35 more? No. You do it yourself. But where's the cat? Hey. Say, you're the one who fixed my master up, right? I owe you. My name's Gangle. I'm the leader of the cats outside. Well, well, now that I can move, maybe I should go outside and breathe some fresh air. That's not how Gangle would sound. Voices. Screaming in my head, telling me the path that I tread. It's nonsense. Or no, it's not sane. Get the lyrics right, pal. I wonder what Gangle is up to. Man, I just revived him. He wants to come play. And there's a squeaky ball right there. Squeak, squeak. I like squeaky toys. All right, Dr. Wowie. Jaeger bombs. That's probably what Dr. Wiley drinks. He probably he's probably one of those dual personalities. He gets drunk and turns into a completely different person. Let's go talk to him. Huh? What's that? Just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's the admirable young lad who was willing to help the Zora boy from a nary a single rupee. Just what does he want, lad? A physical? You got some money, don't you? By the way, that girl Ilya didn't mention anything about me, did she? Buddy, shut up and just pay your bill. Ah! Look, I can't pay this off right now. I can see Talmus hired you as some sort of heavy to strong army, but she'll have to wait. Look, lad, if I'd been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I would have been able to get the money. But see, I accidentally spilled this medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then, well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing stuff like that? What a world. You always have to be on guard, eh? Ah, look, Mr. Heavy, at any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. Now, to work, to work. All right. Let's push this little block. I seem to remember there being maybe an Easter egg in this house somewhere. Sniff, sniff, what's that stank? Forget the reek fish and learn the medicine scent. Mm -hmm. Medicine ball. That's like Tiny from Clay Fighter. It's a random game to remember. What do you got to say for yourself? You're a persistent little bug, eh? I said I have neither the money nor the wooden statue, you great lout. I can't return what I don't have. Oh, I can't get rid of that medicine stench. I don't have any money. When it rains, misfortune, it pours. Remember that, lad. I feel ya. You know, there's a doctor poster. I don't know. Let's just go. Now, where can I safely turn into a wolf to follow the stink? That's a weird sentence. Let's not, let's pretend that sentence wasn't muttered. Anyway, I know where to go anyway. I'll just jog there as a little old Link. Reminds me of 
eighth grade reading class. For some reason, I don't know why it wasn't just called English, but we had a writing class and then we had reading class. And prior to that grade, it used to all be bundled under something called language arts or maybe it was just English. I don't know. But anyway, the eighth grade reading teacher. Well, let's read what Louise has to say. Gotta transform into. If you follow the scent. You can see all of it leads to her, so... You're looking for the wooden statue that Ilya had, aren't you, dear? Think it's a coincidence that I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place? No. Yes, I'll admit it, I took it. But then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beast who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after her statue. I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those friends lurk just outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. And another thing, they always move around as a pack. You won't get that statue back unless you give them all a thrashing. That statue sounds like a key to getting Ilya's memory back. You must get it back! Wow, I made her sound like Telma and all kinds of other wacky stuff, didn't I? Oh yeah, everybody's screaming because I'm a <laughs> So this is the Southern Gate. Here, at the great battle of our time. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's not even nighttime. The dogs ain't gonna come out. Or are they? There's a Goron there trying to pave the way. That's part of the hot spring water side quest, I think. Well, while we wait for night to fall, which seems like it's gonna be a while, there's this chest. There's a lot of stuff we could do with the spinner. So let's do it. Why not? I don't know. You gotta sometimes sniff the roses. And stop your bitching. Like I've been doing lately. Excuse me. There we go. Now, this is the spinner thing. This is pretty cool if I recall correctly. I don't remember exactly what. Oh yeah, you gotta bounce, you gotta time it. There it is. Short-lived, but still pretty cool. Piece of art? No, rupees. Where are we at? Oh, that's good though. I know I need at least 300 for what's soon to be coming up. I do have some bugs, too, if I really needed rupees, I could talk to Agatha, but there's something else up here. Trying again, round two. I turned into a wolf right next to the rope, and it made me fall off. So now I'm doing this again, and it's sunset, so probably by the time we get to the other side of this thing, those dogs will be out. Oh, whoops. Ah, uh, Wolf Link can't. Oh, don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh, thank God. I forgot to kind of... When you morph like that, it makes Link stand back further than Wolf Link. Yeah, what is this called? What would you call this form of movement? It's not sidling like in Wind Waker. But this really hurts your hands, and it, apparently it's really slow, too. I remember climbing around as a kid, either in my backyard or on a playground, and I was moving like this on something. And I could do it, but it really tires out your... Well, it hurts your palms and your fingertips, most of all. Your muscles kind of hang in there, but it, it just does make you sore. Anyway. Is this a piece of art? No, that's rupees too. What the heck? Oh, well. It's still sunset. <laughs> Maybe they'll come out because it's about to be nighttime. Oh, doggies. Dang it, they're not here yet. What else can we do? Oh, wait, isn't this something? Yeah, there's a claw shot thingy. Let's do it. Wait a second. I think I need double claw shots for this. Yeah, I absolutely do. I see the chest. Dang it! Okay, well, now it's nighttime. I landed in Lake Hylia after falling and all kinds of... Okay, wait. We gotta get them all in one... I think... Oh, no, it's gonna run out of time. Did I do it? Yeah, there we go. And there's the little statue. You got the wooden statue. This oddly shaped statue once belonged to Ilya. Well, let's bring it back. Guess who didn't save and quit? Oh, but we have yet to pick up a yellow rupee. Alright, well. To Kakariko, let's return the statue. Uh, 
I think we give it to her directly? Or, I don't know, you could probably give it to anybody. What is this? I, I remember something. I was confined somewhere. Yes, and I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me this statue. Yes, I remember that much, but that means that person is still in trouble. Oh, what is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. I remember. I thought I had seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place, but I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to Laneru province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. But a rockside blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. What? Well, I don't mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems to Gorons. Yeah, get him, Darbus. Our patriarch, Darbus, will be waiting for you up ahead. Look at your map to see where. I will try to find the path to the Bridge of Elden, at least to Lanayru. You said that, buddy. Thanks. She's so sad. Not for long. This is it. The Hidden Village, man. Clint Eastwood moment of this game that everybody remembers. Mostly for the music. Once again, further proving the point that music is the biggest thing about video games. Everybody remembers the music first. I would say so. There's probably exceptions. But come on, man. You can't be doubting composers. Look at a game like Ukulele, which has a bunch of mixed reviews because the, every other facet of the game is kind of rough around the edges, but the music is good. Because David Wise and Grant Kirkhope. See there? Perfect example. Nice miss! Yeah, hi, you still missed. Anyway, here we are. And that fairy is jingling. One of you said I could turn that off. I've never actually tried it. I looked at the option, but... Does that turn off motion controls entirely? And even if not, how would you do motion controls? Without a pointer on screen? I don't know. It's not a concern of me. Sorry if the fairy is annoying constantly on screen. But... Alright, we've come this far. I definitely want to make a backup save. Because this is a prime example of a moment of a game that is very short-lived, absolutely amazing, but can go completely wrong if you don't play it fast and well. And you know how angry I've been in the last episodes. I'm not... If this goes poorly, I want to do it again. And I'm going to cut out everything. Except for the good one. There's a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it a forgotten place. This scent has been burning my nostrils. It's the scent of evil. There's one powerful creature I've seen about, but under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are 30. Nah, at most 20 of them ahead. They're probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there are, little human, then you alone are more than enough for them. But you will have to defeat them all to save that girl's benefactor. Before you go, I'll tell you the secret to besting them. Destroy them all before they spot you. Got it, little human. All right, Jarvis. Watch and learn. Watch and learn, he says. Well, I was watching, and you know what I saw? I saw Save the Game. January 20th, 2019. I don't know what date this is going up, but this is when I'm playing the game. A blast from the past. Let's do it. Do we use the Hawkeye or not the Hawkeye? This is attempt number two, people. I used the Hawkeye. I'm not doing it this time. Yes, let's do it. Very hard to see them, but you gotta just look for the glistening orange in their eyes. I just don't like the Hawkeye thing. I tried using it, and it took a lot of the fun out of it. it. Slowed the action down, and I don't like that. This is so much better.
Gotcha. I don't really remember where everybody is. That's the thing. I know there's a guy in that window. But I can't see him now, so I'm gonna go here. Knock oh, down that tower, yes! So cool, man. It makes me want to play the Wild West mission of Time Splitters 2. I like that instrument too. What is that? A little like slide whistle or something? Not a slide whistle, but I forget what the thing's called. Whoa, look out, he's right there. Two can play attack game, bub. In the deck. I like this better than the hide and seek thing with the cats later. Because archery is everything. Alright, buddy. Oh, I killed this guy already, didn't I? It's so cool, man. I like being on the rooftops. There's a guy in the window on the back side here. Kind of try to sneak up on him. Button, what are you doing? Oh, that's messing me up because of the guy down there. Why is it locking onto him? I shouldn't have let go of Z on my approach to this window. Well, crap. It's still better than my first attempt when I was using that stupid attack and get down there. Jeez. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of want to restart, but. Let's just roll with it. What's, what's gonna happen? Unless I really continue to screw things up. Yeah, this house I definitely botched up. You shouldn't have to rely on Z-targeting like that. You gotta use manual aiming, man, and do it from a distance. It's more fun that way. That's it, already! Man, that was short-lived. See? Good thing I restarted. That first attempt sucked. I wish there was more of this in the game, though. It's so good. That music is awesome, and it's just such a feel-good moment of the game. At least we get to hear the music one more time. The howls of the beast, they faded into silence. Wait, are you... The savior, it's you, the savior. Please, please forgive me for not opening up the door. My name is Impaz. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family, but it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Link? Oh, I knew it. So then you saved that nice girl. How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl, she worried about this old woman even as I helped to escape from here. But royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives, no matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me blather on. I have a favor to ask. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart. But even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. We got Ilya's charm. Ilya left the charm with the woman who saved her. I believe in my heart that it's kept me saved all this time. So please, I ask that you return it to that girl. You got it, lady. Keep your britches on. I'll be back. Oh, Ilya, I've got something for you. I'm not even gonna talk this. Just, just watch it. Read it yourself. It's a moment I can't speak. Well, I knew you once. Yes, this feels so familiar. The scent of hay. 
long ago when we were young, you and I. You were always there, you were always beside me. <laughs> Mallow just... <laughs> Oh yeah, Tyler was trying to get that last peek. He knows what's up. This gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please, Link, take it. Epona. Whoa, it's floating. Better late than never, I suppose. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting. Link's so happy, man. Smiling like a dope. I mean, who wouldn't? Link, do you remember when we weren't making love and there was a rod of the heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messenger to the heavens who led the rod, or held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, in this woman's village, they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations, so they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. That's why this lady couldn't leave her village, you see. Say, Link, do you know what this... Maybe we have to go back to the village. Meow! Hello again, Impaz, Impaz. Hey, that rod! Is that the Dominion rod? Ah, oh, could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there's a story from the time when the Uka still maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it is said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky, and it was called the Dominion Rod. The rod was the, to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with the Uga. From generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, was to be given to the messenger. This is that book. Please take it. We've got the ancient sky book, but letters are missing. This book is written in the ancient language of the sky writing. I'm glad I stayed in this village and had a sore throat. Yep, it all comes full, full circle. Holy epiphany, let's go play hide and seek with some cats. Sniffing about for the pussy cats. See what I did there. <laughs> oh, things are wrong with me. Let's transform into a wolf and have a window smashing time. And talk to this chicken. Actually, the howling stone. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Yo, see? Took 900 years, but we did it. The final wolf. Oh, I can't believe it. What a lovely song. <laughs> Something's wrong, man.
yeah, one last happy spin. That was a triumphant Twilight Princess theme. I liked it. The howling part was kind of weird, but when the drums and everything came in, well, I was bumping in my seat. No, I don't know what the heck. What does bumping even mean? And there he is, right at the castle. Well, we'll get him in a moment. Let's talk to the chicken now. Oh, welcome. This is the Forgotten Village. 30. No, more like 20. That's how many cats have made back here into the village. So perhaps you could, you know, just play with them. Oh, thanks so much. They're all so lonely. Perhaps you could talk to every one of them. But if you leave the village, it will be like you never talk to any of them because this is a video game. Well, let me give you a tip. Start at one end. Got it? Oh, I'm afraid. I always screw this up. I like how it has that little horse beat, horse galloping beat. You hear it? <laughs> meow! What fun, meow! First one, meow! What fun indeed. Now, there's one up here, I believe. Oh, uh, what are you doing, Wolf? I don't know. What fun. Second one. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to take your head off there, kitty. Fourth one. Maybe it's smart to get all these street cats first. Because they kind of wander around and do their own thing. Blah, 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 blah. We're already buddies, meow meow. I'm already lost. It's basically in every house there's a cat, or two, or three. Eighth one. Look at that guy perched above a little wheelbarrow thing. Wheelbarrow? I always thought it was wheelbarrel as a kid. Like B A R R A L, the Donkey Kong Country code. There's one back here, absolutely. What's up, dude? Meow. Tenth one, meow. That was weird, it was like me or row. Up the stairs we go now. Talk into the cat, meow. Wait. Oh, you're just hanging around. We're already buddies. Now, unbeknownst to me, I think every time I played this game, you could freely go between human and wolf, and the cats don't care. They like it just how you are, little buddy. Twelfth one. The word twelfth looks weird. It almost looks like it's a wrongly spelled word. Thirteenth. What did he say, 20? Just like there were, how there was 20 things? You're new. Yes, 14. Is there one by the chicken? Nope. I don't know where these cats they frickin' are. Um... Wash out up to the other side. There might be one on the back of the. Yeah, this area just reminds me so much of the Time Splitters 2 Mexican mission map. You put in the Garrett revolver and the vintage rifle as your sniper rifle. Play capture the bag, it's so much fun. Some arrows, but we don't need them anymore. I'm so lost, man. I'm sorry. This is terrible to watch. This is what I was afraid of. We're already buddies. Where is everybody else? I know by the house there's some, but... Like the chicken said. There's 15. Okay. 
Oh. I was just trying to get out of the view, not talk to you. Alright, let's just get the ones that we know. Sixteen. Okay, we're getting close. Seventeen. You're ready. You mean seventeen as long as you're in love. Nope, just seventeen. <laughs> what about in here? Ah, oh, really? How did I come in here and not break these before? Nineteen. Okay, there's one more. How much you want to bet it is in here? On the, how do you get up top? Don't miss this jump. I shattered the window, but missed the jump. There we go. You. 20th one. Wow, meow. Everyone is getting along. Go tell the cuckoo leader. Is it cuckoo or cuckoo or cuckoo? Chicken. Because some of those words sound a little too dirty. You talked to all of them. Thanks. Now your prize is in front of the old lady's house. Make sure you pick it up before you leave. Oh, it's over. We'll never hear that song again. Neville. I said Neville, not never. Words much. English, mother. Do you speak it? Come play again. Oh, he, wow. He doesn't want to play. Look how much he growled. Dun, da, 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 da. Well, there you go. That's enough for an episode. Thanks for watching, you guys. Yeah, I'm going to go sleep. See ya.